I challenge you to put three things in the comments below that you are currently working on to improve as a player. Focuses or you know, these active focuses in your week, you know, that you're going to be when you're playing this week. And, you know, maybe a couple of days, you'll be more focused on one thing, a couple of days to be focused on something else. But I just want to understand, you know, what are your intentional focuses, your short term sort of goal posts, as it were, to that long term goal of becoming a great player, if that's the value that you hold. Because if that is a value that you hold, but you can't answer this question and you can't, you, you know, you, you're going to have to think about, you know, what your focuses are, then you're probably doing something wrong because with learning effectively, we need to have some active intentional focuses. Because if we, again, kind of in, in your mind, imagine this path where, you know, you're standing still at the moment and you have this long-term goal, which is the end destination that you're trying to reach, becoming a pro player, what, you know, whatever it might be, getting a certain rank. Having that goal is, is great, but there's so much distance between that goal and where you are now. And so because the, the tasks, the, you know, the skills are so complex and it's so many things that all coalesce together in this very complex kind of web, what you need to do is you need to have smaller goalposts that, you know, you can plop down as you go to keep and use, use that long-term goal as sort of the North Star. And the effort that you put in is that forward energy, that forward momentum that moves you forward along that path. So if you are really good at how you apply your effort and which is directed by these smaller goals, you're going to get a more effective return on your time in terms of improving. However, it is still probably going to be the case that you'll run into the same experience that we all do that I think is in some ways quite addicting, which is sometimes you you play terribly, it feels like, for a couple of weeks even, and, and you're, you, know, you have some maybe a few focuses that you're working on, and it just feels kind of hopeless. But then, you know, one day out of the blue, it feels like, suddenly you're just better and those things are never a problem ever again um, or hopefully never a problem ever again but your skill floor is noticed you can feel that it's just different and that you can kind of move on from that phase and this really is a deep gratification nature of the you know of pursuing mastery with with any discipline that's really complex in nature and so one way we can more effectively tackle this like i just said is to have focuses so um, and, and I should say that I was inspired to make this video because I saw a, a random clip of Mr. Beast on Twitter where he was giving a tip in an interview of how to become a really successful YouTuber. And his first, the first part of his tip was make loads of stuff. Cool, that makes sense. That is, that is apply effort. But then he adds in and improve something every video. So not only has he added effort, and the question's already there, right, of that, that long-term goal, I want to be the best YouTuber. I want to be a super successful YouTuber. So you got to get really good at it. And then the second bit is there in the first answer of the question, which is massive amounts of effort, take massive amounts of action. But then the, the next bit is setting up the goalposts, creating, you know, a, a, a better sense as to what, where the energy should really be going so that it's not just going into random places. You're not just doing the same thing over and over again and wondering why nothing you know, new is happening. No, instead he's saying, you know, find something new to focus on each video. We don't have to take that quite so literally and say every time we play a scrim or something that we're doing something different, but it should be the case that, you know, you should have general focuses that of things that you're working on. And you can break things down in so many different ways throughout your week in terms of how you want to attack this. So you can, for example, have certain goals that are mechanics related. You could really split it up like this. You could say, I am wanting to improve my micro corrections and that's going to be my my focus when it comes to my all my technique work this week is going to be micro corrections. And when you're in the game, you're also kind of looking out for that more because when you're in those spots where you need to do micro corrections, you're kind of a bit more attuned, a bit more sort of attentive to those moments because you've applied a higher degree of value and focus to that particular thing. So you get better quality feedback as well as you try to go through that because you'll no maybe notice more things. And this is what's really one of the many benefits of this is that because your focus is a bit more on this thing, you get more data most likely from the thing, which allows you with the more data to then be better equipped to find solutions to where the real problems may be or maybe aren't. Um, so it's, it's pretty informative just from that point of view. 
But equally, you know, I, I did a, a podcast not too long ago with MetaDoc, who is a doctor and is his uh, most passionate field of study is learning and he's up to date with all of the most recent science around this. And so we, we did an episode, I think it was called Accelerated Learning. You can look it up where he talks about, you know, as far as science, the science we understand now, what is the most effective way to approach learning quickly, learning as quickly as possible uh, when you're kind of trying to get better as a player, because we have to onboard so much information. We have to learn so many new things. So how do you do that better? That's a, I definitely recommend checking that podcast out. Um, but you'll hear some of the same things discussed as we as I've discussed in this video here. So again, sort of returning to this original point, have that long-term goal, have a way to have those intentional focuses, um, which are those goalposts, which are those you know, things that you want to improve each week. And just make sure that your training is intentional. Um, and if, if, you know, th there's lots of tips and tricks, you know, channels out there on YouTube where they're going to say, try this one thing and, you know, do this other thing. And I, I want to, you know, instead target the things that are a little bit trickier to talk about, which is these overall concepts or, or approaches that can help you guys to know how to apply any tricks that you might get taught and to instead become more self-sufficient as players where you have better understanding, you know, better habits, you can kind of work stuff out yourself. That's, you know, one of my goals here. And I think if I, if I could impart, you know, any one lesson to any person who is trying to get good at something, it is intentional learning, intentional focus, because if you aren't doing that, you're just going to waste time. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I look forward to seeing what the uh, what the comments will hold, what you guys put down there for me. And I'm curious, maybe there'll be some cool uh, inspiration in the comments uh, if, if I see some patterns or, or, or you know, we'll, we'll just see what happens. Uh, but I'm looking forward to that. Maybe there'll be something cool to kind of make a follow-up video on. So thank you all for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.